our draft expert coming on in about 10 minutes. We'll talk more Guardians in the WKYC show coming up at 1230. But, Jay, how about these damn Guardians, man? What a fun squad so far. We talked last week on Friday, what would your, yeah. you know, we talked about what do you want them to come home at for added buzz. And we said, I, I said, you know, seven and three would be, would definitely add buzz. Eight and two, it's going to, it's going to feel really special. Yeah. Um, they're six and two. Mm-hmm. And like you yeah. said, house money with these next, <coughs> you just split them and you yeah. come home seven and three. Now we definitely diminish the three wins against the A's. However, these last three wins between two against Seattle and, and the twins, uh, yesterday. Wow. Bull. Yeah. They, you know, and I, I remember when I was doing my hit from, from Goodyear. Yeah. And I, I heard from some people that said, you're overly optimistic. You're hyping them up too much. And mm-hmm. maybe I, maybe I was, Yeah. Um, but I just felt like, and it's super strange. I felt like, and you're going to laugh at this, the, the mood. I always want to take that into account. And it, sure. oh, that's only lasts for the first week of the uh, season. Mm-hmm. And then what you do, you either build on that or detract from that. Yeah. But it was so weird. The mood was completely different than it was the year before when I was out there. And they were coming off a huge season the year before. Yeah. And I, I credit that to Austin Hedges. It was just <laughs> the temperature yeah. in the entire room was different. Well, he's a popular player, obviously. They love him, There's Bull. no doubt about it. And uh, I think, listen, with baseball, you always have to be cautious of... Long season. It, it is a long season. And, and, and I'm not changing my whole opinion on the Guardians based on eight games. It is a very promising start, though. And what I like to see is, and this is something we, we, they talked about in spring training, and so far they're doing it. They're being very much more aggressive at the plate than they've been in past years. Like, if you look at Stephen Kwan, he's got one walk and six strikeouts. That's not like, like him. That's un, not typical, but you know what? He's hitting the ball well. Yeah. And, you know, it, it'll, it'll work itself out. He won't strike out a ton. But it's okay if he strikes out a little more. And, and, and that's that means what I like. He's going to be more aggressive at the plate. He actually practiced this offseason. Yeah. Missing pitches. Interesting. He spent time yeah. facing 100 miles an hour on the machine and missing on purpose. So he could realize it's okay. It's right. okay. And I think what he's done is he's let go of that stigma of the walk of shame back to the dugout after a strikeout. Yes. It's okay. Yeah. You're going to get another chance in 30 or 40 minutes. And I, I like that. I, he's not afraid to strike out anymore, and the rest of the team isn't either. And our numbers offensively, I think we lead the American League in runs scored. If you look at runs per game at going into yesterday, they were, I think, tied for fourth in all of baseball. Impressive. You know, which is over six runs a game. And uh, what, what was the final yesterday? Five? Four, four, two. Four, four, two. Four, two. Okay. Yeah. So, listen, uh, the offense is off to a great start. You're getting it mostly across the lineup. I mean, it, every, yeah. you know, there's nobody that's off to a terrible – obviously, Hedges is not hitting. But sure. almost everybody else is what, hitting pretty is, well. Is there anything that worries you? Because I have one worry. About the whole team? Yeah, about, my the, biggest about concern, their start. About their my start. biggest concern is Tristan McKenzie. Mine too. I mean, it's 100%. Yeah. His I'm velocity wasn't there. Way boy. down. Way down. He didn't look right. And he got <clears throat> pounded pretty good. Yeah. You know what's an interesting stat? There are two losses in both of them. They walked in the winning run in yeah. both of those losses. I, the, I, yeah, when, one of them was Morgan on four pitches. Four when, pitches. Yeah. And when the other one was was it Scott. What, I, I can't remember. Barlow? Barlow? I think Barlow might have walked Barlow, in the winning yeah, run. Yeah. Tristan McKenzie, I... I, I always, I always think we. You, you talk about going back to surgeries. I always think that I, I, I err on the side of getting it done. I, I well, know, I know people say, "Well, let's just rehab and strengthen the muscles around." I, I you know, I, I, you know, I may sound dumb, but I don't know ligaments that healed on they on, on their own too yeah. well. Like, no, <laughs> um, and we we were talking about the mental stuff though, Jay, and maybe there's part of him that didn't cut loose because he's maybe. a little worried. I, I, that's the hope. I know it's. Yeah. Not I, likely, but it's. Um, I had the exact same thing. I opted because because Tristan opted. <laughs> hey, I can do this. I thought, well, let's give it a shot. So there's a procedure that they do. Mm-hmm. It's just not Tommy <clears throat> John. It's not the total replacement of the UCL. Um, he's not the same. No. He, he's not the same, yeah, and like, it can't be a time issue because he's had plenty of time. Uh, been, uh, and I'll tell you, if it if he doesn't uh, regain it and he ends up tearing it, it's going to be a very very costly miscalculation. So he'll miss the next two years, pretty and much. And yeah. he's he hasn't gotten paid yet. No. Now, if you remember, there were whispers the day before he got hurt. There were whispers that 
an extension. It just lacks the, the signature. Yeah. They, the two sides had come to an agreement on, an, on, a, on a signature. Or, I mean, on a deal. And that's, that was that the rumor. Whether or not that's true or not, no one, neither side ever reported that. But there were folks that cover the team telling me he's, he's next. His, his extension is ready to go. Then he gets hurt. Then he decides, no, I'm not going to have the surgery. I hope for him that this wasn't a grave miscalculation yeah. and he doesn't end up needing it anyhow. Because like you said, yeah. now you got two seasons lost. Will he ever be able to prove that he's worth that big money? Yeah. I don't I'm know. Still, I still remain concerned that they don't have enough power. Because when you play, yeah, you know, at, when you get to the playoffs, you got to hit some home runs. Yeah. Yeah. Now, again, I don't need them to be first in home runs, but I need them to be at least in the middle of the pack. You can't be last. No. And so they're still not hitting a lot of home runs, but they're getting a lot of doubles. I like a lot of I, extra base hits. Yeah, I like what I've seen from Tyler Freeman so far. I like what I've seen from Brian Rocchio so far. You know, I, I would assume um, that uh, – I just forgot his name. The first baseman is coming up. His Manzardo. 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 Yeah. went out of my head. Uh, I know he had a home run yesterday. I assume he'll be up soon. Uh, but but they are going to need one way or another to hit for more power. So the power still, it's better. I guess their percentage-wise is a little better than the last year. I like their aggressiveness but on the bases. Love it. Love it. They're and running like crazy. Well, I mean, outside of hedges and the nailers, they all Everybody, run. Everybody's run. Yeah. Josh got caught stealing in an yeah, inexplicable right. attempt. Right. Uh, right after he got hit on the wrist, yeah. why he would, you know, Risk stealing a bag and sliding in head first. Yeah. Didn't make much sense. And Barlow, but. nice job yesterday because he got off to a bad start with the I Guardians. Know. And then he gave up, what, his double, to, I think, to his first batter. But then, and then strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. Yeah, that was that's like, what he used to look like when yeah. he was in Kansas City in his heyday. When you see him from the distance, you think Clevenger, right? I mean, with the, the hair. hair right? Sure. The body's thin. <laughs> yeah. um, I couldn't be more excited about their start. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, it's fun. And I am, you know, like we asked last week after Freeman's hot start, is this sustainable? And we were like, well, no, not at this level. Yeah. Um, I'll ask you, they're not going to win six of eight games no. the rest of the year. Yeah. Um, but is this sustainable? And when I say that, I mean, you know, the great pitching, scoring enough runs, winning games, first place. Detroit's yeah. off to a hot start, too. Like, right. it, do you think this is fool's gold, or do you think this is what we're going to see? I think it's in between. I definitely don't think it's fool's gold, but I don't think – they're not going to average over six runs a game. I mean, it's no. it's it's going to go down a little bit, but they're going to get reinforcements. Like we said, Manzardo, hopefully if, if DeLauder has a good season in double-A, hopefully he's here at some point this summer. Right. Maybe, maybe, I'll hope against hope that they'll spend a little money maybe to add a bat at some point. I don't think you want to just be like – you know, because – We'll see about Freeman. I love what he's done so far. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the right field situation. He did right misplay a ball yesterday. Yeah. But he's field. learning a new position. And that's, by the way, of all of the plays that he's going to be asked to make, in my view, someone else might tell you differently. Yeah. I played center field for a long time. The sprint to the fence where you're running glove side and it's everything, the depth of everything is off and yeah. it just takes, there's a learning curve to it. And he was clearly mistimed his jump. He misjudged his spacing to the wall. Yeah, but he'll get that. He other than that, he looks like he's been playing yeah, center field I mean, his whole life. Right now, it's an exciting time, and the division looks challenging because the Tigers yeah. maybe have arrived here a little bit. We'll see. They yeah. got a lot to prove. Also, I'm excited for opening day. Yeah. I can't, our home opener. Oh, I can't it's gonna wait be for awesome. That. Yeah. Okay. It'll be awesome.